Hi everyone, welcome to a new episode of Sweet Kitty Crafts. Today is Wednesday and it's the 18th of January. And it's very cold here over in the Netherlands. It's uh, below zero degrees. And uh, yeah, we really got a uh, winter at the moment. Sorry for the dog. He just hears me talk and he thinks, what is going on? So how have you been? I hope you've been doing well. I hope you have... Uh, had very creative uh, week and uh, yeah I've been uh, doing lots of things the last week um, I turned my hand on a little bit of designing at least I tried I've been doing yarn dyeing uh, there's uh, lots of yarns uh, popping up in my shop and um, I've had some yarn in the mail I've been working on some last minute uh, jump in uh, project from uh, Mina Philip, who's the knitting expat. I just uh, couldn't resist uh, jumping into her uh, mystery uh, slang kit uh, shawl. So let's start with the finished object. Uh, the shawl you saw last week, it's blocked now. The ends are woven in. And it's not a particular yarn brand actually, I bought it on shopping site and it was some of it came from uh, China and some was just uh, stash I just had so I can't tell you anything about yarn but it was just uh, to use up some of the stash yarn and I did not have enough so I'll uh, I did change the pattern a little bit so um, some repeats uh, didn't get that much rows as it was intended and um, was just a very lovely pico uh, bind off and I uh, I love uh, pico bind off so yeah I think uh, it turned out nice it's a little bit more uh, thicker than fingering weight and um, yeah it's a nice uh, half circle shawl so um, yeah happy with that and uh, it's pretty uh, pretty warm actually uh, to wear so Molly is going for my camera so gotta reposition it a little bit what are you doing, girl? Sorry about that. Yeah, no, that's not going the way I want it. Um, so this is the shawl. <laughs> Molly's taking over the chair. Um, I've finished my lovely pink shorty socks. You can oh, maybe saw them already. I'm gonna put my shawl over here. Uh, these were the lovely socks, uh, who, uh, which is called the Rose City Rollers, and uh, they are finished. I did them on uh, double pointed needles, and it's uh, that lovely slip stitch heel flap. I love it. And it was a top down sock, so yeah, I thought it was a little bit of a cheating. It felt like cheating because they're so short. You don't even have to make uh, a leg. It's just, uh, yeah, short and uh, fast. And um, yeah, that's probably something for summer. We will see. Molly is hanging around. Hey, little girl, you're just out of sight. Well, she's here. Another pair of socks because I just wanted to finish uh, up some um, things on my needles. I was a bit restless about all the stuff was going on, and so I decided to finish first and then start something new. So let's hope that works. This is one of the drops fable colorways, and there are two of them. So very happy with those. Just the, the German short row heel I always do. I start with the toe. Um, yeah, work the foot, German short row heel, the leg and the 2x2 two two rib. It just looks like they're not the same length, but I matched the striping, so probably the other one, one is a little bit more stretched. But that's not a problem. Just wondering. So, very happy with those. My son said, well, you really love them, but I think uh, this will pair I won't keep for me. Say hi. Molly's all excited now with all the stuff going on. Hey Molly. Now another pair is almost finished. Just gonna grab it from here. It's got a whole table full of stuff. 
So here it is, try not to pull off some stitches of the needles because they're the tiny little circular ones. I've put the sock on that one for this for this moment and I might change it again for the cuff because I think it works a little bit uh, better for my hands if I do the ribbing uh, on uh, just a normal double pointed needles probably. So this will, these will also be for me because the stitch count I, uh, I want to give them to Patrick but I don't think it will be uh, well fitting for his feet so these were, are almost finished and yeah just the standard nothing special but just love it and it's uh, one of the projects for my stash so I really want to knit those up there's another wear pair going on from Dubs Fable that is the black and grey one that will be for my son and um, those are more than halfway finished so that's good um, I talked a little bit about the uh, what is it? Is it is a mystery schlanket I think it is and I pulled out some of my hand spun and uh, yeah, I think Clue 4 is coming up on Saturday or Sunday. And I'm just at Clue 2, but it doesn't matter. It's very quick knit and I enjoy it. And I really wanted to use hand spun because I rarely use it. And these are all three uh, very nice and soft. So the the upper one is uh, this very soft merino I, late, I spun lately. This blue one is the fiber I got from a fleece, I just um, I um, washed it, I carded it, I dyed it and then spun it up so that is the blue, it's a, it's a Dutch sheep breed and uh, the red one you saw on the podcast was the fall cloned with Tencel so I hope this color scheme will turn out I think it will and I think they uh, it's a color scheme you can wear with a lot of things so this is the Mina Philip shawl and it's just very simple and uh, I just um, started trying to design my own shawls and you, you try to uh, think of um, very uh, special stitches and things but the, the most uh, easiest shawls are uh, really the popular ones if you look at it I've been watching um, Susan B. Anderson and she made some uh, lovely shawl designs which I just carded stitch with a, with a lovely border and it's uh, it's just lovely. i um just going to talk a little bit about uh, the shawl designs I'm working on. I had a bright idea of starting a bottom-up shawl and then um, working up and at the wingspan you like you're going to stop and yeah well it, it worked. Why didn't it work? It would work. It did work. But the downfall I thought was the increases. I thought they were just too tight on the border. It does have a little bit of stretch, but because the increases will be uh, on your back, if they're too tight, you just feel it like it's not stretching. And I just hate a shawl that doesn't uh, move around you, doesn't stretch when you uh, try to move. So I frogged it. I'm still frogging it, but I just like to knit and frog. So <laughs> just a bit weird, but just like to see the stuff unravel while I'm knitting. Just a weird thing I'm doing. So this is another attempt, and it is bottom up, but it will be uh, the lace border first and then short rows to make a crescent shape. So I de um, designed it. Well, designed it. I picked out a stitch pattern, which is a lovely leaf pattern that will be staggered, and then there will be um, a scalloped edging, which I love. And then there will be short rows, and yes, yeah, just going to be an, an easy plain shawl. And I'm trying to design it to using one skein because uh, I know we all do have a lots of those one skeins. We um, really want to do something with, but don't know what. I'm trying to show you. It's just a very easy pattern. And just trying not to shake too much. And it's going to be this way, of course. 
that lace just has to be blocked and when I was browsing um, Instagram I saw Aurora Knits and she is doing um, an, um, five shawls a day designing um, well the words they're failing me so I signed up for that and today will be the first uh, shawl design she does it's just uh, if people who wants to design or try to um, learn to design you get five shawl shapes and you you gonna knit uh, very miniature shawls I've, I've printed out one uh, three from her and this is this one you can see you kind of knit those little shawls but they're all um, increased in different ways and that's uh, how the shaping will take place so I'll uh, be very uh, I'm very interested in uh, seeing how that turns out and um, yeah oh, I'm just going on with this I just uh, I have no clue how to um, ca account for um, how much yardage you're gonna need? It's just gonna it's gonna trial and error and try and rip and knit and that's just the way it's gonna be. Uh, this one is a top down shawl and I dyed up some a very nice uh, merino singles yarn and singles yarn is just very very appropriate for shawls because the stitch definition is fantastic and it is um. A lot of it is all pastel colors and um, they're in the shop right now and that tonal that means they're all one color but uh, the tone of the color variates from a little bit darker and lighter and you can see it on this uh, shawl and uh, it is uh, top down and I always cut I don't know if you knit shawls but if I cut uh, an edge like this or whatever edge it's always tight if you if you block it it will curve because those stitches are tight I don't know why maybe it's just me just let me know if you don't have the problem but I was just um, figuring a way out to compensate, compensate for that and then I've never read anyone doing this but maybe people do I'm not gonna tell you because it's my little secret and I'm gonna try and write patterns for this so I might be uh, publishing a pattern in the future that would be very exciting my head is full of plans and as you're knitting your mind just wanders and more plans are popping up and yeah it's just a way, strange way this one is gonna get some um, little uh, flowers in there because I just love flowers and nature and I was just thinking of a whole uh, design line of shawls uh, inspired by uh, something like a, a secret garden I dyed up some yarns um, oh, oh, I call, call this one it is uh, very speckled and it's gonna be the gravel path um, he's uh, just uh, going through the garden and um, some yarns this just looks like me like it's a, just an amazing field of flowers on a hill and um, this will be uh, one of those and that would might be a lovely shawl in the same collection just just yeah, brainstorming things I I'll, uh, I'll figure out and it's just it's just uh, um, dreaming of stuff you want to make want to do so those little flowers are in there it's gonna be three rows thank you and then I'm gonna try to do the border and the border will be uh, the same little flower in there and then um, because of yarn overs and decreases there will also be some pointy edges we are gonna block out very nicely and this is going to be completely garter stitch because just so easy and relaxing to knit so I'm just uh, yeah can't wait to see how this turns out so this will be continued I hope it's gonna be all disastrous I'll just give up and let somebody else do it <laughs> Just drinking a little bit of coffee. It's the Winnie Mae lunch I like so much. It's gonna be a little bit of going to the back, or you will be seeing half of me. I've just been outside with the dog, but it was really, really cold. Just weather for gloves, hats, scarves, all the stuff, which is very nice. I like that. Well, you appreciate the warm weather more. 
after being very cold in the winter. So um, I talked about uh, Knit Crate last week, the company who sends you a little box with yarn and a pattern, depending on what, uh, which subscription you take. And I had two skeins of yarn. <coughs> and I don't want to put down anybody or anything because uh, we all do our best and what uh, you don't have not everybody has the same taste so what I uh, not uh, prefer might be somebody else's dream but this is from uh, Knitology and we die for you that's a card and it is a company who is um, <coughs> um, yeah just the words are gone um, they work together with knit crate so um, it is if you uh, if you take the subscription it says sock yarn club which I think it's gonna be sock yarn it doesn't say sock weight yarn it just says sock yarn club and it is knitology sock and the strange thing, and I just don't agree with uh, what they promise you and what they send you, because I got two skeins and really love this color. This one is a bit too dull for me, but that's just personal preference. And uh, the, the, yeah, it's not debating about that. But they're all singles yarns. And I'm not an expert, but the first thing you learn if you start spinning is singles yarn is not for socks because it's just not wearable durable and it's just one strand and then there's nothing left but a hole so i just le left two reviews and i don't give nobody one star why would you but just i didn't give them five star rating because i just wondered why do they send only singles yarns and of course i can use these for shawls why not? But if you uh, apply to a sock yarn club, I think you should people send people sock yarn. And it might be a sport weight, I don't mind. But uh, sock yarn club means to me, that's my opinion, that you get sock yarn to knit socks from. And this is not appropriate for socks. You can do it, but it's too much work for... Um, the time you get to enjoy it because it will wear out too quickly good <coughs> well I've been dyeing loads of yarn there's a lot of stuff in the shop already till the end of the month there is a coupon code which is a sweet kitty in all capital letters I put it down for you here somewhere and Thanks for everyone who supported me in the shop because it's been a, a crazy week, really. I'm very happy for that. I'm really happy for that. And I uh, saw so on uh, YouTube we uh, got 50 subscribers, so I'm extremely happy with that. It's just amazing. And it's just, um, yeah, just people found me by themselves. And I put a link on uh, Facebook and Instagram when I post uh, I post a podcast but no real major big podcasters uh, did a shout out or anything so you all find me by this by yourselves and uh, thank you very much for that and i really enjoy talking to you and i hope you you enjoy watching me uh, so this was one of the uh, yarns i dyed and it's in the uh, sparkle base it's called the wildcat <coughs> star base i'm sorry uh just one of these and i think i'm gonna keep this one because I can see a shawl coming out of this. I just love the greens with all the speckles in there, which just reminds me of a flower field. And yeah, sorry, it's gonna stay with me. And then I dyed up uh, some tonals because <coughs> tonals are so wonderful to go with um, other colors. If you've got a variegated yarn and you're gonna combine it with a tonal and. Yeah, it's just just uh, lovely. This is a new base of me, of mine, and it is a. Uh, it's called the Maine Coon Cat Base, and this one is a 60% merino, 25% bamboo, and polyamide, and it just does. It's amazing soft, really lovely soft, 
and this will be 12 euros in the shop so nice price I think uh, shipping and I should probably say shipping and handling or packaging because um, just just there's just more than just putting a stamp on an envelope uh, when you package uh, yarn and um, you don't have to buy for the tea or the extras I put in there but you got the print and the ink and the paper and the, and the envelope and all the stuff so um, ship shipping and packaging for two skeins of yarn will be seven euro will worldwide and uh, four euro for the Netherlands so you get them and they will fit in your mailbox so uh, the shipping rate will be uh, as low as possible uh, yeah more loveliness I love those just so so fun colors there's a whole speckle range in the shop just one color with lots of speckles which is also lovely and they're going pretty fast at the moment so I'm not the only one who likes them <laughs> and this one is very gorgeous also it's just a bit washed out on the camera let's start to yeah okay time to turn slowly so it's mainly uh, dark blue and uh, uh, yeah lilac color because uh, but because of the water it dilutes in some places and it's uh, yeah it's mixed in other places so you get lots of colors uh, just out of two which i love and this one is also nice it's a bit of dusty rose with um with some green and it was really it felt like a failure because i just had um it was a bar burgundy red that's what the label said but i just thought uh, the color was a bit um yeah not striking so I had some leftover green already mixed up so I put it in there and um, yeah I've s I sort of like the result yeah I do so that's um, all the yarn um, there's uh, the Southern New Merino Singles base is uh, new in the shop and there is still is Singles like it hmm. no can you look it up um so the bamboo yarn is new merino bamboo there is um merino and nylon just the sock base is is there and uh, yeah lots of nice lovely things so go check it out if you're interested uh, maybe just to um get some ideas maybe uh, ideas to use your own stash there's also uh, lots of shawls in the shop so you get, might get inspiration from that I always do so I think I'll uh, I cover it uh, most of it now um, if you got any questions or um, comments please uh, put them um, below in the YouTube box you can leave a comment anytime you like uh, there is still the revelry group which nobody really participates in, uh, in anything so it's a bit quiet uh, that's maybe just because there are 50 subscribers and if you want to say something you just type it uh, in the in the, in the box uh, in YouTube and I don't hop over to every uh, I watch a lot of podcasts but every podcast got their own group and I don't check in with them every time so um, I really can understand that maybe in the future there will be more activity and we we can go over there and uh, enjoy stuff so no problem there was a giveaway last week and one of my regular viewers did win a bag but you probably didn't have the chance to watch the podcast maybe it slipped by the winner was me Landu and there was a number I can't remember but you probably know who you are so please contact me and I got sent a bag, lovely bag to you. And that is is I did for the this week. I just want to say um, I hope you have a lovely upcoming week. We've got lots of uh, holidays coming up. My husband's is, uh, birthday is on Saturday and my youngest son is turning 13 in the beginning of February. So that's okay. And then my birthday is in March. 
and my uh, father-in-law and then my mother and then it's a little bit more quiet <laughs> because yeah you got those periods of uh, yeah there's just a lot of holidays uh, all stacked up and then uh, of holidays uh, birthdays stacked up and then it's a quiet period which is always nice so um i'm doing okay health wise um yeah not that tired anymore feeling much better uh really uh, enjoying uh, making stuff and uh, being creative and uh, love the family uh, members around me and uh, yeah it will be eight months uh, before i have to go again for uh, my hospital um, treatments but that will be the end of August and uh, that's the end of the summer then and we're still in the mid of winter so uh, it's a long time away from now just a few checkups which were uh, we're okay so I think we're fine so enjoy yourselves enjoy your knitting or crafting or spinning or whatever you're doing and um, sometimes just slow down a little bit and um, really um, be more conscious of uh, what you're doing how you're making your stitches because it's just amazing uh, how you can create something out of, out of just a yarn and if you're a spinner you're just creating s just a ball of fiber fluff and it turns into a yarn and then you can make the most uh, wonderful things out of it it's just amazing and uh, yeah it's really enjoyable so Hope to see you next time. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching me and uh, talking to me. And uh, if you got something for me, please uh, leave a comment. And we'll talk soon and see you next time. Bye bye.